Hello everyone, this is Clip. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Far Cry 4. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be going over some hunting strategies for South Kirat. Uh, this little portion will cover these clouded leopards. And now this place right here is right near uh, Keling Return. It's uh, to the left of it. Uh, we're up on this kind of mountainous area, uh, which does two things. It gives us elevation, plus it means that... Uh, any uh, animal that we attract will not actually be able to reach us with the exception of maybe some eagles if they are in the area which they usually are uh, in fact one of them's already been killed so what we're gonna do is just throw our bait right out here and as you can see there was kind of a confrontation um, but uh, one headshot and they are gone um, this is actually the easiest place uh, to do this cloud of skins because if you do have a bow, you can get a clean kill. Um, you'll get two skins and you'll get your bait back. So this area right here is the best spot for, uh, in my opinion, getting clouded leopards. As you can see, you're you're almost untouchable up on top of that uh, outcropping. So. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to slightly larger prey. I think at this point we're going to do bears and then we'll do tigers uh, for our finale. So give me one second to set up and I will show you where we're at and we will kill some bears. I'll be back. Okay, so we are back and we are right to the east of Kira's Meditation. Uh, let's see that. Let's see. All right there. Uh, now this area offers a lot of different opportunities. Uh, if you stay here long enough, uh, since we're so close to Depluer's Fortress, you will actually get a fair number of uh, courier missions and um, hijacking missions if you, if you choose to stay here. Uh, now there are eagles in the area, there are yaks in the area, which are uh, friendly until provoked. Uh, as you can see, my Gyro, gyrocopters right in the area. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw out some bait. Stay right out here. And we've got a bear. Now I would highly recommend using something uh, real substantial against them. Uh, this is the, and actually I need to show you that because uh, this is the 87. Um, it's one of the signature weapons. It's uh, basically a shotgun that you can put in the sidearms uh, position. Uh, and I generally will, will travel with this uh, shotgun uh, throughout most of the game. It does give quite a punch up close. Uh, obviously not silenced. That's one of the, the few drawbacks of it. Most in Some of your sidearm weapons uh, you can throw silencers on, but this is obviously not one of them. It's a sawed-off shotgun. Uh, but obviously very powerful took the bear down in two shots so uh, if you need yaks uh, you can come here as you can see they're off in the distance here or if you need bears you can use our trick right here and since we're on an elevated platform it's extremely difficult if not impossible for the bear uh, to actually be able to attack you okay so two animals down so let's go after some tigers now uh, this is a very dangerous animal obviously so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go into this area right here and we're gonna need a little bit of help but usually the game will provide us that so give me one second to uh, make some travel arrangements and I'll be back with you in a few okay so we are back and you recognize this area we've, we've come through here before we've got an outpost uh, in that general direction uh, we're right here uh, right on this tiger's head and this is actually a very good place uh, to hunt these tigers for, for a couple of different reasons. One, uh, you've got this. The terrain here does give you an advantage. Uh, because generally you can shoot down on to your enemy. Uh, second reason is, as you can see, there's a road to my right. Uh, this road right here is actually, and it spirals all the way down here and goes out to, uh, eventually to this road that leads to the outpost. Uh, this road is usually patrolled. Now obviously since I wanted to show you that, it's not this time. But uh, still, 
fairly simple to uh, kind of get these guys into a loop. Wait till he sits down to eat, and then you can just kind of blow him away. Okay, so that is how you kill tigers. I'm going to do one more in this video because these have been uh, fairly short uh, little segments here. Uh, I'm going to show you my favorite spot for hunting the uh, demon fish enemies, which are some of the more annoying enemies in the game. So uh, give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are just west of Keta Manor uh, into this kind of lake area. Uh, this is where I hunted for the demon fish. And you can see one right there. Now, in my opinion, this is the easiest place. Oh, I'm going to be attacked. This was the easiest place, in my opinion, uh, to find these guys. Ah, oh, looks coming. Alright. Um, basically it's a very small body of water, so it's kind of real easy uh, to get in and out without having to face too many of them. Sorry about that. Um, now, just like in Far Cry 3, there is kind of a, an optical trick that if you're in one of the gyrocopters or if you're at uh, high enough altitude, say maybe up on top of that uh, set of rocks there, can actually see the fish a lot easier than you can uh, right here trying to look out into the water but uh, for me this was an area that I found that was pretty easy to uh, farm those those uh, demon fish um, so that concludes kind of the major uh, predatory animals in the south uh, the only thing I've got left we go to our crafting screen uh, we've got obviously the uh, special animals for uh, three quarters of, of our upgrades here. Uh, also, we've got snow leopards, and you will face those only in certain areas. There are a couple of mission, missions that take you off into the mountains, and you can find them there. Uh, also, once you unlock the north, you can find a pretty easy spot to farm them as well. Oh, Lord. Alright, so uh, this has been uh, Hunting 101. Uh, when we come back, we are finally ready to do some actual missions. I think I'm going to do uh, maybe a couple of the uh, campaign missions. Uh, after that, I will probably end up maybe doing... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do every single mission, but certainly I will do all of the Fashion Week missions. Uh, and I will try to do most of the important missions uh, in each outpost. Uh, so, until next time, this has been Cliff. I hope everybody takes care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.